All right, guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Niqua. I'm back again. I told you you were going to be able to get rid of me easy. I am in my kitchen cooking a strawberry cheesecake tonight. And I want you guys to join me so you can learn a little bit about how to make a strawberry cheesecake. It's very simple and easy to make. It takes probably less than probably 20 minutes to make it, depending on if you got all your ingredients laid out like you should. So let me just get down to the nitty gritty and show you exactly what it is you need to make this delicious strawberry cheesecake. It's not the kind that you put in the oven, it's just simply the kind that you put inside of the refrigerator to chill and it's a great way to please your uh, guests when they come over for the holidays. So let's get started. I'm going to give you some um, some a look at some of my ingredients I'm going to be using tonight. Tonight I'm going to be using a Philadelphia cream cheese um, block and so I've got three of them that I'm going to use because I'm going to make a total of uh, three pies so you can see you can use any brand that you want to use but this is a uh, Philadelphia cream cheese as you can see and I'm pretty much going to be blending the Philadelphia cream cheese in a bowl similar you can use any kind of bowl it doesn't necessarily have to be this particular type of bowl and once I get the Philadelphia cream cheese blended I'm going to use Cool Whip. Cool Whip is a very um, smooth tasting whipped cream that you can use to blend up the Philadelphia cream cheese and make it a little bit more um, creamier and softer. So that will go in and I've got three containers of the Cool Whip um, whipped cream. My third ingredient is strawberry fruit filling and topping. I'm going to put it where you can see it. I've got the brand Lucky Leaf. You know, just make sure when you go in, you're not picking up the wrong thing. Make sure it's fruit filling and topping and it's not um, some fruit that is in a can and some sugared water because um, you can easily buy that and not realize that you're not buying the filling. So you want to make sure you're not doing that. And I would say each pie is going to probably need an estimate of one can on top of it to give it a nice uh, topping. Uh, on top of your pie. So I got two cans of that and then last I have my uh, powdered sugar. This is the white powdered sugar that you can use. I'm going to put it up there so you can see it. This is a very quick recipe like I said before and it's going to be so delicious. You'll see once I start making it you'll see how it needs to be blended and how we're going to pour it into this nice Keebler graham cracker crust pie. So it's pie crust pretty much. And pretty much I want to let you know that you can make your own um, graham cracker cr uh, crust. All you need is like a glass pie um, dish and you can pretty much buy some graham cracker crumbs in a box. Once you buy the graham cracker crumbs in a box, you can, pre you can put it inside of a bowl, add uh, salted butter. And if you don't want to eat a lot of salt, you can add the uh, butter that does not have salt in it and you can mix that mixture up after you melt the butter and it'll give you a soft um, filling or of a pie crust that you can take and just smooth it out inside of a pie uh, pan and so it'll turn out just like this you can make the crust uh, the ground pepper crust thin or you can make it thicker it depends on whatever you want it to taste like so anyway I'm going to be using Keebler and that's a quick way to get the job done quickly without having to spend all day and night and evening in your kitchen trying to make this delicious strawberry cheesecake pie. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to grab my scissors so I can have something to open up my containers and pour them into my bowl. And then we're going to get started. It's going to go by really quick and you're going to really enjoy it. So I'm glad to have you back into my home again. And I look forward to seeing you guys futuristically. And I hope that since the last time I posted, you went on and subscribed to my station. So far, I've got uh, 48 subscribers. I'm very happy about that. And so we welcome you. So just give me a minute. Let me grab a scissors. Okay, I'm back. So what I'm going to start doing now is just dumping my Philadelphia cream cheese bars into my bowl. I 
I'm smelling from ear to ear because this is something that I love to do and that is cook. <laughs> and I'm so excited about showing you guys how to uh, make my navy bean soup. Oh, you're going to love it. Easy to make. The beans actually have to soak for 24 hours. <laughs> So I am just putting the cream cheese blocks into the bowl that I'm using. And for all the non-cookers out there that's learning how to cook, maybe in your early 20s, 20 years, 20 years of age, um, you can always tune in or chime in and comment and tell me some things that you would like to see me cook. It, can, it doesn't have to be something that's hard to cook. Just something simple like rice or grits. Um, that's pretty much what my YouTube channel is all about. Just showing the new millennials how to cook the simple things. Because when I was in my early 20s, I didn't even know how to boil rice. So my mom, she came over and she showed me one night how to bake, how to boil rice and the different things that I needed to know how to cook, I would call her and ask her uh, how to cook something. I know you guys can probably relate to that. Um, I'm not on this channel trying to say I'm an expert cooker. I'm just on here trying to just do something fun and teach those that don't know. And the ones that get on that are old school cooks, they can pretty much they can criticize me all they want to. I'm used to constructive criticisms, and it, it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> So, I'm a businesswoman, and I've had to learn over the years to build thick skin to deal with different socioeconomic economic status of people, different class of people, and uh, it has not been easy because everybody comes with motives that are not out for your best interest, but thank God throughout the years with prayer, I've learned how to not have biases against different people, and I think... I think that I've pretty much summed up what my channel is pretty much all about. And that's just teaching those that want to learn. And the ones that know already how to cook, kudos to them. And you're welcome to watch at any time. I like to keep a towel in the kitchen because it's very cost effective. It keeps you from um, having to use paper towel. Um, while you're cooking, I like to have a towel nearby where I can wipe my hands. And so I kind of pretty much throw it over my shoulder when I don't have an apron on. And I'm cooking something kind of messy like this. Because when you're blending things, it can go all over the place if you're not careful. So I've got my scissors and now I'm cutting up my Cool Whip container. Trying to get in it. Got my spoon here. I'm dumping my Cool Whip in because this is going to help break down the Philadelphia cream cheese. Put my spoon in there, just let it stick up in there. Today was an extremely busy day. Um, my employees wanted me to cook them some barbecue chicken, and so I baked the barbecue chicken. I need to use the right grammar when I'm on here, right? But anyway, I baked them some barbecue chicken today, and they absolutely loved it. And I took one of these pies, a strawberry cheesecake pie, up to them today, and I promised them that I was going to make a strawberry cheesecake that I baked in the oven, but... They've gotten to the point now where they want me to bring another one of these up here, up there to them tomorrow to make the job on my business. So I'm going to do that for them. So one of these pies that I'm making is going to go to them. And then I gave out, because I actually made three pies this morning, <laughs> and I gave out a pie to my godfather and a lady at the Dollar General. She asked me for a pie, so I told her I would bring one back because she's always nice when I go to the Dollar General and helpful. So I did that because I like doing nice things for people. So before I put in my white confectioner's pack,
powdered uh, sugar. I'm going to blend up the Philadelphia cream cheese and the Cool Whip that I put it into this bowl. Sit this over here for a minute and let me just blend. Try to keep your blender on a three or a four because it keeps the filling from flying everywhere. I cooked this earlier and I ended up having filling in my hair. <laughs> so, you see how creamy that is getting? And once we add that sugar, it's going to give it a real creamy, sweet taste. a very nice uh, dish to take to a pot club if you work in a corporate in corporate America. They have a lot of potlucks in corporate America. I don't know if they still do that or not. I work for corporate America, America for probably about uh, 10 years and they will always have these potlucks. <laughs> so. All right, looks like we got that good and blended. Now I'm going to just add in my sugar. And what I like to use is probably a half a bag of sugar, white confectioner's sugar, confectioner's sugar. And if it's not sweet enough, if you taste it and it's not sweet enough, just add more sugar. You're just adding it to taste. You put this inside of the refrigerator and let it uh, refrigerator and let it chill. It is so good. Now I'm going to use my spoon to kind of like take some of the sugar off the side of the bowls. A little spatula here. So I can get everything blended in and I'm not wasting any of the ingredients that I purchased from the store. I'm telling you, I went to Harris Cheetahs and it is it is so packed in there. It was so packed in there today. So many holiday shoppers in there getting a head start on the things they're gonna buy the food they're gonna need to fix for the holidays. And I don't blame them because I even try to buy some collard greens and turnip greens ahead of time to fix um, because those are the things that run out really really fast in the store but as you can see I like to turn my bowl as I'm blending because it helps me get all of the filling creamed and blended very well so I'm just going to turn the camera where you can see me working and blending you can actually work up a sweat doing this. <laughs> Take some work. This is probably the hardest thing you have to do to um, make it this pot. And when you um, pie filling, cream cheese pie filling inside of your brown cracker crust or pie crust. You want to make sure you don't overfill it because if you overfill it, it's going to get a little, it's going to leak a little bit on the sides. You don't want that because it makes it hard for you to close the top of your pie crust or with the top part of it or the cap. So, I'm just going to give it a little shake, get some of the pie filling off of my blender. Delicious. So, we're ready to go. Now I'm getting ready to work with my graham cracker pie crust. So I'm going to open it up.
and start filling my pies, my pie crust, up with the filling. And if you don't use all the filling, that's good. You can always wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator and buy another graham cracker pie crust and fill one later. And I like to save the top of these because they have, um, it's good for storing. You just pretty much cover your pie up like that. Seal the sides and it keeps it sealed tight and you can store it in the refrigerator with no problem. Um, look, it has an ingredient, a recipe on the back of, it had a recipe on the back of um, the top of the pie crust. So I like to hang on to these. This one has a double layer pumpkin pie and then it has a five minute double layer chocolate pie. So that looks like it's going to be something good to fix in the future. And I may include that on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to continue on because I know you guys ain't got all, does, don't have all night to watch me. So, taking this off, paper off, put it in the trash. And now I'm going to start filling my pie crust. Just put some inside of the pie crust shell. And you don't need that much. Just right the, the amount I put in here is enough. See? Just like this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I love doing what I I love doing what I'm doing. And that's cooking in a kitchen. It's very therapeutic for me. Here you go. My mom, she's enjoying watching my YouTubes. She doesn't even watch cable. She watches YouTube. You know, a lot of people don't watch cable TV anymore. It's about YouTube nowadays. Get you a smart TV and just go to town watching your YouTube um, clippings or shows or videos. I enjoy. Get that out of the way. So now, push everything aside and I'm going to just start dumping my strawberry fruit filling and topping on top of my delicious cheesecake pie. I see it open. There you go. So, just take this little pie cutter and I'm going to just lay it down, spread it on top of your pie. Look at there. Oh, that looks so delicious. And when it chills, you're gonna be the I'm gonna be the top of the town like I was the day at work. <laughs> they love these pies. To the point they want me to bring them some back, and I got two people wanting me to make them a strawberry cheese pie. Cream cheese pie, my dad. So, voila. This is what we got. See how good that looks? Mmm, once it chills. Mmm. Next, I'm going to put my pie filling on my second. so easy to make when you're standing around and you're wondering oh I've got to bring something to the pot look at work I got to fix something to take over to my aunt's my uncle's house my grandma's house what can I make I'm not that good of a cook no worries log on to hanging with Nick when you can find something to make I'm even going to take suggestions for things that um, you guys want to see me make it doesn't have to always be something I have made before. It could be something I've never made before. And I will be glad to research it. Find out how to make it.
make it for you and come on my YouTube channel, Hanging with Niqua, and make it. I think we pretty much wrapping everything up. And all we do now, I have to do now, is just sit my strawberry cream cheese pies in the refrigerator and let them chill. Be ready for me to take to work tomorrow, to my business, to give to my employees, and also to share for the holidays. So subscribe and like my video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>